Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel once again. Today's video is a tutorial on my simple everyday makeup look, which can be created in about, uh, I say 20 minutes or less. Not to mention, all products in this video are affordable. If you like this look and you'd like to see how I achieved it, stay tuned. So I'm starting out completely bare-faced and I'm going to clip my hair back. My face is already prepped and primed so I'm going to start off with my Anastasia Beverly Hills Stick Foundation in the color Espresso. And I'm just going to put that all over my face. Then I'm going to blend it in. I'm just going to stipple this foundation all in until it covers everything. <laughs> Make sure you get your neck. Don't forget your neck. So next I'm going to go in with my LA Girl Pro Concealer. And the shade that I am using is Fawn. This is going to give us a nice highlighted look under our eyes, on our chin, on our nose, our forehead, and our, our cupid's bow. I'm going to take this beauty blender from Real Techniques. And this beauty blender is really affordable. I got it from my local Walmart. I think I paid about $17 and it came with two in a pack. And it works really well. It's not an actual beauty blender, but it works just as good. Next, I'm going to go in with my foundation stick from Black Radiance in the color Black Walnut. And I'm gonna contour with that. I'm gonna use this as a contour stick. With the same beauty blender, but the opposite side, I'm just going to go in and blend it out. Okay guys, so it's time to set that highlighted area. I'm setting my highlighted area with Toffee from Maybelline's Fit Me Powder. I'm putting that on all the areas that I highlighted with Fawn. So that's just going to act as my setting powder. I decided to do my brows off camera. But next I'm going to go in with this Anastasia Beverly Hills eyeshadow. And the name of it is Smoke. And I'm going to put that all over my eye. And then I'm just going to take my favorite highlight. You guys know my favorite highlight is Beautiful from Black Radiance. I'm going to put that on my lid. And then I'm just going to blend that all together. Next, I'm going to take this contour kit from Black Radiance. And I'm going to take that darkest shade in the contour kit. And I'm just going to set my contour with that. I'm also setting the contour on my nose along with the contour on my cheekbones. Next, with the Wet n Wild Liquid Eyeliner, I'm going to wing it out. I do not have a tutorial yet on how I do my winged eyeliner, but if you guys want to see that, I could definitely do that for you. And I did the other one off camera. I'm going to let them dry before applying my bottom eyeliner. Next, 
next highlight time you guys know my favorite highlight is beautiful from black radiance so i'm putting that on my cheekbones my brow bone my nose y'all know the deal (laughs) all over my forehead it may look like a lot but now i'm going to set my face with the all-nighter urban decay spray and then i'm going to blend so if you thought that that highlighter was a little too harsh this will definitely make it look more seamless and dewy of course i'm blending i'm blending you guys know my favorite line (laughs) so next i'm going to do my lips i'm going to go in with this lip liner from nyx cosmetics in the color espresso and i'm going to line my lips with that Next, I'm going to take my lipstick from MAC. It's a nude lipstick. I will list the exact color of it down below. I'm going to put that all over my lips and just smudge it together. And next, I'm going to take this clear lip gloss from Black Radiance as well. And I'm going to put this all over my lips. The last glue that I love to use is Duo. my lashes off camera and this is how they look the lashes that I'm wearing today are from Lily lashes I really love these lashes I'm sorry I didn't record myself doing the lashes on camera but it's like the hardest thing to do the lash glue takes so long to dry so that part just didn't make the cut mascara that I'm using is from L'Oreal and it is the luminous luminous voluminous <laughs> that's how you say it voluminous mascara um, I'm going to just apply this to the bottom lashes in a sweeping motion my bottom lashes are pretty long so it doesn't really take much to get them to pop Before finishing up, I'm just going to go in with my Fit Me powder from Maybelline in the color Coconut. And I'm just going to dust this all over the places that I did not highlight. This is just going to give me a more seamless makeup look while keeping me nice and matte too. This is the finishing look. Hope you guys like it make sure you thumbs up this video leave feedback down below and i will see you guys in my next video thanks again for watching see you soon smooches bye guys